that all of us that are standing here today are, are living through a renaissance of this East Chester neighborhood. We all pretty well agree that this is going through a renovation of sorts. Uh, you've got this fill-in of these apartments of spots that were demolished after the earthquake. In fact, you still had some across from the New China Cafe that were still open. Uh, parking lots, there was a building here that's gone. But you're looking at people getting excited about an area that wasn't too exciting. So in, with the kids doing the research in this area, this... It's a max. The, uh, is that better? I'll get deeper voice. I'll get my deeper teacher voice. <laughs> the uh, the uh, building right here was a tire store because 18th Street, as we all know, was the old 99. So the Historical Society has been working hard, as I have mentioned at other events, to get the uh, old Route 99 signs. And they arrived Friday. Yeah. And they were wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, I opened it up and I'm like, it was a, it was a package, it was about three feet high or four feet high. And I'm like, oh, rah! Uh, tour signs have to be non-reflective. And the company in Wisconsin put the reflection stuff on there. So they are giving us the 10 signs they sent us and they're going to make new ones for us because it was completely their error. And most of you know Fatima at the Historical Society. I knew she had it done right. And, the, and she was like, oh my God, I, I'm like, just relax, we did it right. So on Monday, the guy goes, my bad, and just keep them. So we're probably gonna end up selling those things. So if you're looking for something, a nice sign, maybe we'll do a silent auction or something like that, it'll be good. Yeah, I was like, look, the one sitting in my living room, I'm like, I like that. But anyway, so this is a tire store. You have Boynton Tire still written on the uh, building right down there, it says Boynton Brothers. Uh, you have the, the Gay and Lesbian Center now, used to be the Far East Cafe. You have this building right there to my left that I'm pointing at. I, I, I don't know who the architect was, but boy that red and black brick looks vaguely familiar. So that was Flickinger's, Flickinger's Feed Store. And I have had them on 17th and Chester. And I believe that building is built in 1931. And now it's owned, I, I think it's still owned, by Valley Bible, or they're leasing it. And it was called the Brick House. I don't know what it is now. But this whole area what is going through, this little area right here is going through a, quite a renovation. The Harley Davidson sign down there where it says Wellness Center, Adults with Special Needs. Most of us remember when that was a, a Harley Davidson dealership, uh, Thorpe's. Harley Davidson dealership. There's been a Harley Davidson dealership in downtown Bakersfield since the 1930s. And so this, they moved over here. They took that over. That was there well through about the late 2000s or early 2000s. And the uh, Harley Davidson shop is now up on uh, Merle Haggard Boulevard. So let's leave here. Let's go down, and I want to stand in front of the Distinctive Coach oh, yeah, building. Yeah. And you need, when you get over there, take a look at the sidewalk. 